All right, guys, today's cook is the air fryer fried chicken, an all time classic. But this recipe I've been perfecting over the last 12 months for simplicity and maximum flavor. So I know that you're gonna be able to replicate it and I know that you're gonna absolutely love it. So this is the shopping list that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some chicken drumsticks or any chicken skin on bone in will be great. Chicken thighs, for example. You're gonna need a neutral oil. I've gone for rapeseed oil, okay? You're also gonna need corn flour and plain regular flour. Then you're gonna need a spice mix of mustard powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, some dried herbs, uh, such as oregano, basil, uh, and some salt and pepper. Now I've typed up the ingredient shopping list in the description box below, but whilst you're there, why don't you jump to the comments and let me know what you've been cooking in your air fryer and what you love to use the air fryer for. So let's cook. So we get a mixing bowl and we're gonna put in two heaped tablespoons of the corn flour and one tablespoon of the flour, okay? This is gonna give us a nice mix. And then we're gonna put in two heaped teaspoons of smoked paprika and then a heaped teaspoon of our dried herbs. Then we're gonna go for a level half a teaspoon of the onion powder, it's very, very powerful and then similar with the mustard powder. We're then gonna season it with our salt and pepper. So we've gone for one, two, three, four, five-ish uh, grinds of that, and then probably around about 20 of the black pepper, possibly more, because we want lots and lots of pepper. Then get out your whisk and give this a nice whisk so that all of the spice mix and the corn flour and the plain flour is nicely mixed so it is all the same all the way through. Then we're going to prepare this uh, chicken by drizzling over two tablespoons of our oil. We're using the oil, we're not using egg, we're not using, we're not making a batter. We are going to be coating our chicken in a couple of tablespoons of the oil and this is what the uh, flour mix is going to adhere to and it's also going to hydrate the flour but it's also going to give us a little bit of fat, additional fat, for when it's cooking. So get our chicken that is uh, just lightly coated in the oil, drop it into our flour mix and coat it in the uh, flour mix and then give the bowl a bit of a shake so it is nicely coated. You can give it a turn and you should, the oil should be enough to give you a real nice uh, overall coverage of the flour that isn't too much because we don't want to be really really thick but you can see you know shake it off any any excess make sure that that falls off and you can see that it looks like it's got a decent amount of coverage there a decent amount of coverage and if there's any extras just just tap it on there but make sure you give it a shake to get the excess take a look yeah pretty pretty good there pretty good not too thick not too light and then go through the process of all of your pieces of chicken then you're gonna get your basket and give it a couple of uh, sprays of the of the of some oil. Okay, in this spray, I've just got the same oil that I've just refilled the uh, the bottle for easy spraying. So give it a couple of sprays so you've got it uh, in the bottom of the basket. And then putting your chicken, don't overcrowd it because you want the air to flow through with these pieces of chicken and you want them to be evenly cooked. So you want a nice bit of air around the chicken okay then you're going to get your oil again now don't be tight with the oil because we're making fried chicken at the end of the day so we need to spray it but also you need to hydrate this oil okay you need to be able to hydrate this oil because if it doesn't hydrate it will cook drier you will have dry flour on your chicken who wants that okay so stick it in the air fryer 20 minutes 20 minutes for, for these drumsticks. And then after 10 minutes, you can turn it over. If you've got any dry spots, which you may have uh, underneath, get the oil out again, give it another spray, and then put it back in the air fryer to cook for the remaining time. If you've got some bigger chicken thighs, you may want an extra three to four minutes in the air fryer to make sure that they are fully cooked all the way through because no one wants uncooked chicken do they 
So once it's done, okay, it's been through that 20 minute process, you're gonna see it looks absolutely glorious. And anyone that says otherwise, you lie, okay? But what we wanna do is we wanna put it back in the air fryer and just leave it off for around about five minutes, just so it settles, just so the juices uh, settle and it's rested and it is ready to go. And you can see we plate up and it is ready to go. Nice and juicy, nice and juicy, flavor packed chicken, nice crispy coating, full of flavor. Now, if you wanted to do more of a KFC uh, recipe, I will put up on the screen some of the additional ingredients that you could put in it. And I will also add that into the description box, but whilst you're down by the description box, why don't you comment on what your favorite fried chicken is? Is it KFC? Is it Popeyes? Is it whatever? What is your favorite fried chicken? And why do you like it? What is the flavor within the chicken that really gets you going? I think it's now time to taste this and let you know what I thought of this chicken. So let's eat. Hey guys, welcome back to the taste test. Today we did air fryer fried chicken the simple way. Okay, using some really cool simple techniques and simplified ingredients. Now on the channel, I have a KFC replica. This is not far off of it, but this is my preferred recipe. It's the one that I do on a more regular basis. But you'll know that there was a few things that we did. We didn't double uh, dip the chicken to do like an extra dredge. We just did the oil and then the one coating. Really, I think a lot of time that's enough. Okay, and then once it's cooked in the air fryer, we leave it in the air fryer for five minutes just to rest and just to continue to, uh, you know, it's got some residual heat and it just allows everything to settle. Okay, and then it goes on the plate and then let it cool down a little bit because that's one of the things about KFC, you know, it's sitting around, it's sitting around for a while. It could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, right? And because of that, the coating kind of develops a little bit of a chew. And that's part of the kind of the trademark flavor profile that you get with KFC. So anyway, enough talking. You know, I, there was a number of comments on my KFC video last year that, you know, it was, you know, not quite there or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think that's not bad. It looks pretty good. I mean, I would be, I would be happy to get that out. I would be, I would be more than happy. So let's go over the tasters. Lovely, absolutely fantastic. You know, this was cooked in the air fryer. It was really, really simple. Didn't need egg and all this sort of double dipping and loads and loads of this. It was done really, really quickly. Cooked in the air fryer, 20 minutes. This tastes absolutely brilliant. Now, if you like this video, remember, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, share it if there's someone you think would like to have this recipe, and uh, check out the description uh, if you want to support the channel, and we'll see you next week for another video, just like one of these.